This is Mr. and what I have for you today is a way to use the inbuilt Windows Media Player to rip an entire CD. So here we are in Windows Media Player. What you do is you grab a CD and you put it into your CD drive and bring it up into Windows Media Player. We'll do that now. As you can see, I'm already on the disk side, which is drive E for me, and I've got a disk ready to go. Let's pop that in. It will load up here. And here it is. If it auto plays, just feel free to stop it. And if it doesn't auto play, well, that's good. So we need to do a few settings in this one. So the first setting we go to is format and choose MP3. As I've done this before, it will, it is still on MP3. So no need to change that for me. Then I go to the audio quality. In this case, 128, 192, 256, or 320. I'm happy with 192. Look, at the end of the day, 128 is sufficient for most people if they're just listening to little earbuds on their MP3s. But if you want 320, feel free to do that 320 as well. Then go to More Options. More Options is where you're going to save it. There is a default setting, but we want to make it exactly where we want to go. So we open up More Options. And then we change where we want this to go. So Alone in the Universe is the name of the album. So that's what we will do it. We'll put it into there. So ELO Alone in the Universe, Apply. And I can do the settings here as well. I've already done them, but you can see 192. So we're going to apply that. OK. And now we're ready to go. So now we just press the RIP CD button. And that is it. It will just start ripping the entire CD. It will put the song titles in and the artist's name and the composer, whatever CD or MP3 ID tags the software has gotten from online or wherever the magic happens. You don't need to know about that. Then it will just automatically fill those things. Okay, so I'll just fast forward this now and we'll come back to when it's done. And we're done. That whole process took roughly about three minutes, a little bit over three minutes once the ripping began, and we can double check that using the Windows Explorer. So we go into Music, where I've saved it, and you can see here Alone in the Universe, and there are all the tracks with all the typical MP3 ID tags that are normally attached. And there they are. From what you do with that, after that, in my case, I'm putting that onto a USB drive, but if you want to move the files into your mp3 player or something then you can once the cd is done obviously there was the possibility of ejecting the cd automatically that was one of the settings but we don't have to do that automatically we can first check and once we're sure it's good then we can press eject right click on the album and then eject and that's it you're ready to grab your next cd and spend another three to three and a half minutes ripping that CD as well using the Windows Media Player. In any case, that's all I've got for this video. If you have any comments or questions about this, please leave them below. If you liked this video, or got something out of it and would like to see more, please subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.